So um, I'm just going to do a little video um, of just how I'd, I'd plan a, a route um, on Trailwise 2 and using OS maps. Um, so they're the two that I'd use mainly for doing um, my trips. Um, and then you can transfer the files. I'll, I'll also do a little video, uh, just a screen video of how to transfer a file, um, even if it's on the same device. Um, I run um, an iPad at the minute, um, so it'll be all on an iPad. Um, I don't know if it's exactly the same for an Android or not, or if there's a similar way, um, but mine's from an iPad perspective. So we've got Trailwise to open now. Um, so as you can see, you can see all the blue and red. Um, they're all byways, UCRs um, and boats as you can see in this box here um, so when you do open trail wiser for the people who haven't used it before um, you, you you will find that you probably all these aren't selected they'll probably only have the UCRs selected so you'll only see the blue ones um, if you click on the other ones you can obviously see everything then uh, highways are foresty you don't need to have that open all that is is it tells you obviously who's reliable for them lanes um, and as you can see as well if it loads you can see all the tracks across the UK and Wales or England and Wales um, they do stop at Scotland because obviously they don't have the same rules up in Scotland um, and then for today we're going to show you obviously how to do the route planning so we're going to use strata lane as the example as where we started um so as you can see strata is there you might find as well uh, when you come on it uh, the map so you might find that this is selected on the uh the bing or street view that's it street uh, street map um, so you want to go on the Ordnance Survey. Um, sometimes this will be selected and it won't be Ordnance Survey. So you can just click on it again and then obviously it will load up. Um, as you can see, Strata Lane. Um, we're just going to use this as the example um, of how to plot and route it. Um, just because it's easy and everyone knows what, what lane it is. Or people should do because it's one of the best lanes in, in Wales and the UK to be honest with you, it's a really good lane. So um, if you click on there, you can see there was 28 comments. It says Strata Lane um, as the name. And we've got 28 comments. You can see all the comments to see um, what you what what people have had um, problems with or um, if there's problems with the locals. And obviously you can add photos as well when you comment. Uh, you can leave comments yourself if you've got Trailwise too, which you probably will do if you're at this point. Um, and you can leave comments, pictures of what you got up to or what the problems are, if there's anything blocking the lane or anything like that. So now we've got OS Maps open and you can see just Strata is there. Obviously you can relay against uh, Trailwise 2 to where it is. Obviously you can use the names of the towns and stuff like that. Um, so obviously it's not too complicated to obviously plan a route. Um, so we're going to start, obviously, uh, the other thing I was going to say. So when I started, I used to use Trailwise 2 and use a paper map, obviously, of OS. And then just mark down the routes with a highlighter. Um, and obviously put what difficulties there were, whether it was a difficult one or easy um, or interesting or... There's good views, and you just write on on top. Um, but obviously I've moved on to OS Maps on the pad now. Um, this is the paid version, so when we're out, I can download the whole route, um, at the map. But the only thing is, it's not very good because obviously when you've got internet, you need to go through the route, and make sure it's all preloaded into the iPad, uh, before you go, even though you've downloaded it, um. So you could really have the free version if you wanted to. I also use um, Gaia Maps as well. You can use that. Um, that one you can download the map itself. So you've always got it downloaded there, ready to go. Um, even if you're stopping here and then you close all the maps, you can open that again and you can see where you're going. I do use that when we go abroad. 
um, or when we're gonna go abroad, um, because obviously you we're not always gonna have signal, because uh, we're gonna be in the middle of nowhere, um. But anyway, we'll show you how to plot, um. So this is from the Strata, uh, Florida, uh, Abbey End. So as you can see, it's a plot route, get direction, share. These are all new features as well. So they haven't, they've uh, just added recently to get directions. You can get directions from where you are to the start of the route. Um, I tend to just plot out the whole route and put where we were going to start from. So we're going to pretend we're going to start at the Strat Florida uh, Abbey. Um, also, you'll see there is no option for vehicle or 4x4. Four four. Um, so you're going to want to use probably the off-road bike because um, this is what's going to follow the routes when you plot it in. Um, if you choose any of the others, it might start making it so you're walking on a road rather than going down the track. Or you're going on a, if you chose walking, it'd take you down walking paths when really you're trying to plot it onto the, the actual byway itself. Um, so we're going to click on uh, the off-road bike. Um, so we're going to do that one. So, um, as you can see now, we're going to plot it. So, we're going to do plotting. Oh, hold on. I think I might have clicked on the wrong one. So, let's start again. Right, so um, we've come back again. I've fixed it now. So, it's actually the on road um, you want to use, not the off road. Um, because if you click on the off road, it'll uh, obviously think that you want to plot over the mountains. So, if you click on the on road, it'll follow the route to the road exactly how you want it to go and um, so it will follow all the tracks the byways and um, so we'll just quickly plot out the strata lane and it'll plot it exactly to the where the road is because obviously a byway is a road um, so let's just get this and you don't want to do it in one big go either because it might try and do what we what was happening before but it'll try and go down things that you don't want it to and um, so as you can see that strata are all plotted out and then obviously we'd click on the little save button down here and then we'd save it and call it strata lane or strata strata day out because you might want to add some other lanes like the small lanes down here and lanes up there um, i tend to just plot it out into one big route and um, what i'll show you now so if we go to you can see we've got loads of routes on here um, but we'll show you the Wales and the four day, uh, four day Wales. So we're gonna disregard that because you don't want to actually save that. Um, so as you can see, I've got a four day route there planned. It's plotted with all the road routes we're gonna do. So obviously that's not just all off road, that's roads and off road. Um, Cause we tend to do when we're out, we won't just do off road we'll do the road so if this road was nice we try and plot the road in as well and um, to the route because there is some nice roads when you get out in the country as well there isn't just off roading and um, you can do some really nice um, scenic roads and um, so it just gives you an idea of how you're going to plot it out so now we're going to move over to uh, Gaia maps so if we go on Gaia and um, so Gaia is just another way of plotting your routes basically um, it's not got the OS background layer but you can buy similar things um, as the background I've paid for this as well so I can download the maps to the routes and um, just to give you an example I don't think I've got any oh yeah I have I've got a Wales Betty Coward route that we're doing in a couple of weeks and um, so as you can see we've got a route there I've also downloaded the map, I think. Oh, no, I haven't downloaded the map, I think, yet. No, I haven't downloaded the map. But we can download the map to this, and it will always be on the iPad until I delete it. Um, obviously, it does take up memory, so you want to get rid of them after a while. As you can see, though, we got the route there. Um, but we haven't got all the little dots like you see in the OS. So we're following little tracks, basically, on the road. Also, this was plotted on um, OS, but on the off-road bike thing, so you can see where it hasn't followed the route exactly. So I, I have fixed this on OS, but I haven't sent it over to here yet. Um, but it'll follow all the routes. 
Um, also, this is Gaia Maps is good for abroad. So if you're going abroad, uh, we tend to use. Um, I'll try and show you on my other iPhone because this one's the one that I'm recording on. Um, Wiki Locks. So I've got Wiki Locks there. If you go on Wiki Locks, um, there's loads of off-road routes in the UK um, and also in Europe, and you can basically. Um, plot routes abroad then as well but I tend to with wiki locks because obviously it's not the same as trail wise too with telling you the legality I'll tend to only follow routes that maybe have um, two people that have plotted the same same route um, if I can or something that's got really good information uh, with a good description of what the route entails because uh, you obviously abroad isn't the same as here and here isn't the same as abroad where the legalities are totally different um, and obviously here we've got trail wise too whereas over there we haven't um, so we'll use wiki locks and um, i have got some portugal routes already open so if you look there um, i've also split this into colors so we know what days are what so we've got like four, five, six days there away. So we're back on OS Maps now um, and I'm gonna show you how to transport files. Um, so we're gonna do one of how to transport it to the iPad so then you can send it uh, via email, messages, stuff like that. Um, and then we're gonna show you how to transport the file from here to say Gaia Maps. Um, so then it's on there. So we're just going to use the four day whales one that we've shown you before um, as an example. So we're going to go to there to the little drop down. You'll see all these other things that you can use. Obviously, we're not going into detail and everything. So we're ju we just want export GPX file. So that's what these files are, GPX files. Um, so we're going to transport that. So you'll see it come up here. You can see we can uh, drop it, we can you know send it to Gaia. So we'll do the Gaia one first because that one's straight there. So I'm going to transport that over to Gaia. So if we're on here now, we can see Ga uh, it's transported over onto Gaia. You can see the route there. And so it's all transported over. Dead simple, not really that hard. Um, so it's going to be harder to send the file. So we'll try and send it now. So same thing, export GPX file. Um, so you can save this to the files. So this will save it to the iPad. Um, obviously that'll take up room on the iPad, but you can save it into the iPad's main memory for when you when you want to use it. So you don't have to have them all on here, but I'd recommend just leaving them all, all on here. And then when you need them, you can use them. They're not taking up any room because they're saved onto OS. Um, so we're gonna send one by via email. I'm just gonna send it to myself. So, do, do, do. so you can see we got got it there. Literally, it's not that hard, and we can send that to me. So I'll just send back to me. Um. So we'll open it in my emails. So you can see it's open here. So when we click on that, you're going to get a bunch of numbers and this is where both people get confused. They'll start saying, well, what do I do next? I've just got a load of numbers and letters and symbols. So these are all the coordinates for what are in that file. And that's why it looks like that. So what you're going to want to do is, on the iPad anyway, you're going to want to click on the box with the arrow on. Um, you can copy, you can send it again to something else, so you can send it to Gaia, we can send it back to OS. So once we click on one of these, say we send it back to OS, so it's going to ask us, do we want to import? We're going to say, yeah, we want to import the file. So the file is going to come up here, and you can put your description in if you want to put all that and the difficulties and stuff like that, and who can see it and everything like that. But we're just gonna save the route because it's it's four days Wales, but I'm just gonna save it as four. Because in a minute I'm gonna delete it. So I've not got two. So I'm gonna click on save. Sometimes it will come up with failed import, but if you just try it again, um, I was kinda of hoping it was gonna do that so I could show you what to do. But you'll just do it again and do the exact same process. So I did do an outro video um, after the last little clip, but unfortunately got messed up with lighting. Um, 
so hopefully you if you've got this far you did like this video and um, if not give it a dislike and uh, just keep let us know what, what people like and what people don't like in the, on the channel um, and if you've got this far and you haven't subscribed yet um, maybe have a little look and see what other content we've got on the channel um, and hopefully you'll subscribe um, we have got some better content uh, ready for the this year with rig walk rounds and things like that and adventures um, and hopefully the videos just inspire people just to be outdoors um, and get out in the 4x4s or camping and things like that because um, we did originally just start this channel just mainly for us so we had something to reference off for lanes and things like that and where we've been um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and there will be more to come in the future.